Rutherglen's been very badly let down, not had any effective representation for three years. They let down not just by their MP, but by the Scottish Parliament and by the UK Parliament. So I think it's a real sense that people here are frustrated and they want change. Michael Shanks is an excellent candidate and I'm really looking forward to campaigning alongside him. Now, we didn't have the vote on Margaret Ferrier yesterday. What's going to happen with that? What kind of timings might we be seeing? Well, I'm sure there will be a vote on her case um, very soon, and I've no doubt that um, there will then be a recall petition. I'm equally in no doubt, speaking to people in here in Rutherglen, that the first chance they get to see the back of her is a chance that they will take. Then we can have a replacement. Michael Shanks, a powerful Labour voice for this constituency, standing up for this constituency in the Westminster Parliament, and making that case, making that case for Rutherglen and a, and a stronger Scotland as well. Moving on to the UK poll questions, is the Treasury right that your tax policies will cause an exodus of high earners and that will cost the country £350 million a year? We are talking to businesses uh, across the UK and they're very, very supportive of what we say about the economy. The problem we've had in the last 13 years is that there hasn't been any effective growth in the economy. That's been a massive failure. The net result is that almost nobody feels better off after 13 years of this government and you know, businesses are crying out for change. So actually, if you speak to businesses, the people who know what it means to run the economy, they're saying only one party has a plan to grow the economy and that's the Labour Party.